Hello, my soccer universe, to part three of the Bundesliga jersey review for this season. Uh, we are now in the second part where we have only four team videos. So uh, we have uh, only four teams in here. And the question is why only four teams? Well, we have 18 teams. If I make four videos, it doesn't quite work out that I get five in each. How did I choose them? Well, as always, I took last season standings, went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then next to every video with a 3, we'll find them in this video. And then I put them in some order of how I usually call these teams, which actually means that Bayer Leverkusen, I don't call them Bayer, I call them Leverkusen, that's why they're a little bit further down the list. Wearing Hertha, which is definitely top 3 of my Bundesliga jerseys, I would say. I always say this. But I think this is in my top three for sure. It's it's an absolute, it's a belter. Uh, classic 90s stuff. Fortunately, Hertha is getting away from this. Yes, maybe the color should be lighter, but that's neither here nor there. I would say we'll get started and we'll start with the third place team from last season. Uh, one of the most supported teams in Germany, which is, of course, Dortmund. And their latest offering uh, falls a little bit apart of Borussia Mönchengladbach. However, uh, it's quite this thing where Borussia Mönchengladbach had the striped pattern on the uh, shoulder yoke, more or more or less. Dortmund has it on the sleeves and has then its black patch uh, on the shoulders. And to be honest, I really would love it if it would go all over the shoulders. Uh, it looks a little bit weird, especially on the back then, if you just have this patch here. I do understand because of the template, there is this black stripe here that kind of then cuts it off. So you want to delineate this a little bit still. Uh, would have been fun, but it's overall a really fun pattern to see it. I I, I am a little bit uh, of initially two minds about it, but uh, it really looks fun to have this striped uh, this striping on the sleeves because it's kind of the yellow and black in there. Uh, the other thing is the boxed sponsor is not to my liking, but overall I think it's a fun seven star jersey. The away jersey, uh, yeah, goes kind of wacko. It's a little bit of Rorschach test, uh, the whole thing, um, with the black and gray chevrony stripey pattern. It's a trippy jer uh, jersey that's completely, the, you know, every, everything is fine except the box sponsor. If that at least was a line on there, I would be fine, but the box sponsor kind of uh, sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, I know finally they have a sponsor that fits kind of with the colors color scheme, although here there's another silvery element added. But this one does, 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 does look quite alright, and of course we have also this black shoulder patch. Um, yeah, I like the idea, it's a little bit too trippy for, for, for me, and with the sponsor also not quite fitting, but I still give it a 6 star pattern. We won't see the Cubs jersey in this one, I'll reserve this for a European jersey review, uh, namely Champions League and so on. So we move for further to Hertha Berlin and while I have to say the last two seasons had kind of decent jerseys now Hertha is going wacko again. I think three years ago they had a really crazy one. This one at least preserves a little bit the blue and the white stripes but all these gradient effects in there it's a little bit much and then the sponsor for a big city club that Hertha wants to be Having such a sponsor that just puts all the colors in addition, uh, it's a shame. See the Decontinentale? It fit right in. This one here? Nah, not so much. Um, again, it's... Nah. <laughs> I really, really would like to... I mean, I really would love it, but um, at least don't make the... I mean, there uh, how many gradients are in there? I think we can see for each blue stripe there are kind of four gradients. If it was at least two or if it was like gradient shifting in and out, that I think I could understand. But this is just, it looks so random. Maybe this, this is also Berlin in a way. But yeah, um, I'm not really a big fan of it. I'm, I, I'm going to give this three stars, uh, especially because the sponsor really puts this down. Uh, the away jersey in black with the two blue tones, that however is nice. Even the double fold over neck um, cannot ruin that much, but it is a weird thing. Um, the only thing is maybe uh, if this was a blue, 
I think I would like it a little bit better, but uh, it's a pretty strong and nice looking jer uh, jersey. I'm gonna go eight here. I really like how the black and the blues complement, man, it makes it very, very interesting to look at. Uh, and then I have a red third jer uh, jersey, which is all template. Um, red at first seems a little bit weird because that not that Union, Union Berlin, but then, you know, red is also the city color of Berlin and Hertha wants to be the city club. So I understand the red uh, jersey. They had a really nice uh, Berlin City jersey last season. So I guess this is just a kind of a knockoff. Is it exciting? No. Uh, you know, just a template jersey with a Hertha crest on there. At least the sponsor is here in also in one color. If that was on the home jersey, and I know this is a... Uh, we had it already with uh, Gladbach. This And I see this in many times also here in Aust Austria. So on the home jersey, the sponsor always wants to ruin the shirt. We also saw it with Dortmund the whole time uh, by putting their color scheme on the main sponsor where then for the, all the alternates you can have it in unique color. I'm more okay if then the sponsor gets a third jersey to display it properly, honestly. And yeah, so be it. This one here, four stars, I would say. And then we are at a company club with Hoffenheim. Yes, SAP. Hoffenheim is SAP. Now, uh, Hoffenheim doesn't have a big tra tradition. Homer always delivers something interesting. Uh, here we have kind of a dark blue gradient. I mean, Hoff maybe a little bit too dark blue for what I'm used from Hoffenheim. They usually had a light dark blue color. Um, and then you have this aqua um, stripe around the color with black. Uh, gets a little bit very, 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 very dark. Uh, at least the gradient, the way it's done is, uh, is interesting. However, it is hard for for me to like a Hoffenheim jersey, to be honest, because there yeah, is just, I mean, already the crest, although it has a, a nice shape, everything else is just so eh, uh, lower league stuff. And yeah, um, make the gradient fit with the SAP logo and you would have something. So yeah, four stars. The colors are nice, kind of, but you know, that there's a little bit too much black. It's, little bit too dark. Uh, the away jersey, I think here I like at least a template, but then it goes all black. I mean, if that was blue, I think we would talk really, really high, but other than that, yeah, five stars, grant that color. That's at least nice. Uh, but the one that I really have the hard, hardest time with is this away jersey, or third jersey. The template is actually one that I really like, but why salmon and why black again? Okay, give me at least salmon and blue. I think that would look all right, this, uh, this one, when they played in Stuttgart with this one, I just I couldn't understand it, to be honest. So yeah, it's also one that I'm rather, rather, rather cold uh, on and I would actually go, I mean, the template saves it. So I would say four, uh, but you know, similar to Angers, I, I, I cannot look past the color, but at least the template looks. I, I like the color, although I know it's a four color, but I, I, I actually like that. So let's go for here and move out of Hoffenheim or Sinsheim in a way. We'll go to Leverkusen. And I gotta say, when I saw this one, I like my Leverkusen shirt, to be honest. I like Leverkusen in red with a full color crest. And then I see this beauty that uh, Jakob produced in uh, red and black stripes with the shoulders also in black. Then the white here, there is so many things to like about this one. Um, you know, Milan fan, of course, I will like something like, like this. This is a really strong looking shirt. Maybe the, my one bone of contention is the monochromatic crest with the black background, where the buyer pill is suddenly in black. That doesn't sit quite right with me. So yeah, I'm, I'm very much tempted to get this shirt, honestly. But I still think that the one two season ago is a, a more representative Leverkusen shirt. Uh, but then you know, also have to think about the colors that are on here. And maybe a red and black striped jer jersey would look nice. I really do like this one. I think this is a very strong look by Jako. Jako did a great jaw job here. Maybe slivering here, here is a little bit off the um, monochromatic crest. I would wish it, it was a full, uh, full color. But other than that, I think it's a pretty strong uh, eight stars. And it's only because I'm a nitpicky here that I'm not going higher. Um, I think that the away jersey, yes, very weird, the um, red and black accents. But other than that, it's really nice. 
full color crest. I think if the red, the red and black accents were a little bit more sensible, not like here the sides going forward and then the color not going all the all the way and similar on the sleeve cuffs, I would give this a much much higher grade. But I think it is very very uh, nice as well. But you know, uh, call template talking myself down here. So I'm 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 gonna go six here. If all the elements that I like on one shirt would be put on the other, I think we would have two really, really strong looks here, uh, potentially. Um, and then we have the third jersey in blue and green, where I'm wondering, uh -huh, where is this coming from? But, you know, I know that they need, prob they need probably a third color that's a little bit dif di different. Um, I usually like Liverpool to go one in red, one in black, one in white, and I think you have all your bases covered. Now you need to come up with a blue shirt where, again, <laughs> it's not bad. I like the classic template. Uh, it's just not very Leverkusen cool, 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 cool to me. Uh, however, it is a nice jersey. I'm gonna go five down, down the middle. It doesn't, uh, it's not too exciting, but it's also not really, really bad. And there you got it. We have all the jerseys from this third video in the book. I would like to know which jerseys in this video did you like? Uh, where do you agree and disagree with my rating? Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.